All right, so we made a little minor boo-boo yesterday. All right, so here we are at Autobahn Country Club and through a, what appears to be a miscommunication, we are here on the wrong day to meet Triple F. Just a minor little boo-boo. Here we are again, the correct day, leaving at the correct time, which is a lot earlier, but that's okay, because we are gonna meet the Triple F collection at Autobahn Country Club. And we're gonna whip out the P1, the 720S, and the Bugatti Chiron. Get ready, and we're gonna have some fun. We do. Where's Steve, Logan? How, how fast did you go on the P1? Did I lose a child? Oh no, 166 miles an hour. Was it the fastest you drove so far? No. Oh, the P1, yes. Yeah. yes. Was that it smooth? Is... Yeah, how was it? Yeah, yeah, it was great. I mean, every time I have to stop, it's because you just run out of safe road space. Right. Otherwise, I'm taking something to 200 miles an hour for the love of God. I have to. Have you to. hit 191. 191. Uh, and Steve he cut had, me off. He had road left. He cut me off. No, it was turning. What are you talking about? You had you road You know where left. I did? I did no. not. There's no chance. You're, he wouldn't know because he hasn't hit 191. So I saw an SV pass. I was like, whoa. I was yeah. like, all right, let's hit to those guys. I kept telling yeah. Logan, I'm like, what did I tell you? We're, we're intruding or we're just going to go ahead and like sneak into their, their line. Oh. Everybody's trying to catch up. They're like, oh, <laughs> everybody went around me. I'm like, yeah. which car were you in? Uh, uh, okay. You know, in pictures, I was telling him, it, it looks so similar to like a 720, but yeah. in real life, it's it's so wild. That's so, exactly our conversation yesterday, basically. Yeah. I'm like, I'm like, it, it just feels like the front end feels like a 720. It's like you got to see this thing moving on the road, and then I went and was able to get out of it and watch it I move. Made him, and I'm like, it looks. Let me way. drive back so he can see it. Yeah, <laughs> I was it like, looked, look at it. It, it looks, looks wicked on the road. Yeah. It looks it's crazy. crazy. The Active Arrow too is you can set the wing so that the Active Arrow stays up. Yeah, that's race mode, and then if you go into like standard track mode, it goes about halfway down. Yeah, right, down. right. Like from McLaren, there's not great yes. race mode's that low. I, I dropped mine two inches, and it's pretty low, but the SV, the wheel gap, back on the front side. Yeah! Down, the wheel gap. <laughs> yeah, depending on this race mode, it's like... Awesome. He does it all the time. <laughs> he's, looking at, he's looking at me like, should he be doing that? now? He's got to help us out with our lives. And Thanks for giving back, too. I do my best. I had uh, Cal's Angels. Yeah. I had one of the kids come. And I said, hey, what was your highlight of your day? Yeah. He goes, I got the chance to drive the Bugatti. All he talked about is like, yeah, I was in the Bugatti. I got my license. Here it is. Brand new. Oh, triple F's here, guys. I can't wait to meet him. Oh, this thing's amazing. I know you guys have a few. You guys have mentioned that it's one of your favorite, if not your favorite cars, right? But yeah, man, this thing is... Badass. Have you tracked it yet? You just picked it up though, right? Uh, yeah, I got it about 36 hours ago oh, and, nice. and it sounds more amazing than any of the other cars in my opinion. So I had the 720, I tuned it with downpipes and that was my favorite car by far and then it broke. Um, so then I got a new 720 that's not tuned and I'm not going to tune it because McLarens tend to break a lot. The way I explain it is you can drive it like a normal car, but then if you wanted to eat your face off it will. Just, just let it and it'll it'll tear you up. So we, we get this truck that dropped off the uh, P1 and they're bringing cars to Monterey. It had the sister version of the Bugatti, so it had the exact same Bugatti in there with blue wheels. I'm like, what are the odds? And we we, we uh, drove the Bugatti to the place to, to get the P1. So we got these things nose to nose, twin Bugatti. Uh, what's that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. He's in route to that. And then he had a uh, he had a Monza in there, and then he had another Bugatti. So we had three Bugattis. Your new garage is awesome too. It looks that that's got to be really fun. Yeah, that's everything there. Yeah, this, we have another one that's gonna be hopefully finished by the end of this year. But um, okay. it's with COVID and everything, it's been great. Every, oh my really gosh, yeah. That one will be that one will hold 55 cars. That's awesome. That one's gonna be kind of more of the hangout spot. Yeah, sure. All right, so we're. We're uh, suiting up and getting ready to go track the Bugatti and the McLaren P1 that I just got less than two days ago. <laughs> I'm a little nervous, but it's gonna be good. I'll take it slow. Should I tuck it in? Just kidding. Oh, yeah. Yeah.
All right, Tommy, how was it? I'm shaking, dude. So I've tracked the GT3 RS, I've tracked the 720 when it was tuned. Like, it is unlike anything. It is perfect. It felt so balanced. I, I was messing with the iPass button too, and it, it literally feels like nitrous. Like, on a straightaway, as soon as you're going to do it, and you, you currently just press the iPass, and it's gone. It's insane. I am, I'm like, totally, like, it took my breath away. It is, like, the perfect car. I, I'm head over heels. I love it. I asked them what the, the highest anybody hits on that straightaway. They said usually the 150s, and I consistently got this thing in the 150s on the straightaway. It's just heavy in the brakes, and I don't think the brakes are totally track. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome seeing that out there. What impressed me is that as hard as you were driving this Chiron on the track, and the fact that you're out here tracking it is incredible, dude. I mean, we plan to track our Chiron, but probably not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, man. Thanks. I appreciate you. I love seeing the P1 and Bugatti on the track. Driving on the way they're supposed Heck to be yeah. driven. Heck yeah. I think that's what's cool about like you guys and us. It's like people have collections all over the country, yeah. but you hardly ever see them. You know, so we're doing things a little bit differently. You know, we drive the crap out of them. I, I always tell people like I I will only buy a car if I'm gonna drive it. I mentioned you the Aventador. I'm not driving as much anymore. Like yeah. if it if it gets worse, like you just sell it. But even the Bugatti, I've got I got it mid March and I put three thousand miles on it. Yeah. Uh, four and a half months. So is that not the best car? It's amazing. It's, it's built to it's built to last too. Like it, some of these cars, I worry when I put a thousand, two thousand miles. I'm like, all right, when's yeah. this thing gonna break? But that doesn't feel like it's ever gonna break. Enjoy these things, man. Enjoy oh, that. Look how filthy this thing is. It's ridiculous. I love it though. You guys take them <laughs> on the rain and everything. I've, I've oh, seen yeah. I've seen a few. Of them. Ice, oh yeah, everything. Oh yeah. All wheel drive. All wheel drive. That's what I was saying. I haven't had a chance. I've only experienced it in rain. We haven't been through a good Chicago winter yet, but we'll see how it handles. We're gonna we're gonna keep all these things out in the winter. I Thank did you. the rally last year in the 720. Oh, and nice. it was it was good. As soon as we got back, though, it went to um, Sissio for downpipe to tune and yep. exhaust, and we got rid of it before we even. Broke it. You guys didn't break it, did you? No, I, I cracked the windshield. That was Ooh. it. Ooh, I buy my Senna. I cracked the windshield at the bottom. It was ten thousand bucks. Crazy. A real good buddy of mine. Uh, he's good friends with John. Got in Chicago. I called him and said, "Hey, we're coming to Audubon. You guys bring out some cars." Uh, and then they bring so that one out. Photo next to each other? I feel like we got to whip that one, like the McLarens, together if you want. I think so if that's... you don't, it's a missed opportunity. So. <laughs> that's what I'm talking I mean, about. For sure, get that over there. Dude, that thing's sick. It's crazy. One of five in the world. I think it might be the only one in the U.S. Yeah, it and is like, the wing. This is the wing I've been trying to convince the wing to, to get on the Yeah, one. we have to look at it. Dude, come on. I was uh, telling Bailey I was going to put his key back in his McLaren. So I went in this lovely P1 LM that is the same exact color as mine. And I probably wasn't supposed to go in it. And then realized that it wasn't mine when they told me. My bad. Did someone have to say it then? I did. I was like Steve Broncar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate you. Yeah, of course. No, honestly. No, it's kind awesome, of been long awesome. overdue. I know you guys have only been at it for, what, six months now? No, actually, we've been hard at it for about two months. We yeah, started June 1st. Yeah, I feel like every week you guys are like another thousand, another thousand, another, another giveaway, another thousand. It's getting, yeah, it's getting there. It's getting there. But we appreciate it, man. Thanks so much. Thanks no, so thank much. Thank you guys. It was nice meeting appreciate you guys. Appreciate you. Give the, shake the man's hand. Yeah. Oh. Thank you guys for coming out. It was nice meeting you. Yeah. You guys as well.